It's Now Again. Welcome back to It's Now Again, the podcast where we explore mindfulness practices from a secular, evidence-based perspective. I'm your host, Jeremy West, and today we're diving into a topic that's especially relevant in our fast-changing world, navigating uncertainty with mindfulness. Uncertainty is a part of life, but that doesn't make it any easier to deal with. Whether it's uncertainty about our jobs or our health or our relationships or even the state of the world, the unknown can stir up feelings of anxiety, fear, and overwhelm. Our minds are wired to seek out certainty and predictability, so when we're faced with the unknown, it's natural to feel uneasy. But what if, instead of resisting uncertainty, we learn to embrace it? What if we could use mindfulness to help us stay grounded, even when the future is unclear? Today, we're going to explore how mindfulness can help us navigate the unknown with greater resilience and peace. Let me start by sharing a well-known Buddhist parable that beautifully illustrates the nature of uncertainty. It's the story of a farmer who lived in a small village. One day, his horse ran away. The villagers came to offer their sympathy, saying, Such bad luck. The farmer simply replied, Maybe. A few days later, the horse returned, bringing with it several wild horses. The villagers came to congratulate the farmer, saying, How wonderful! The farmer replied, Maybe. The next day, the farmer's son tried to ride one of the wild horses and was thrown off, breaking his leg. The villagers again expressed their sorrow, saying, Such misfortune, the farmer replied, Maybe. A few weeks later, the army came to the village to conscript all the young men to fight in a war. The farmer's son was spared because he had a broken leg. The villagers came to express their joy, saying, How fortunate, the farmer once again replied, Maybe. This story captures the essence of how we can approach uncertainty. Life is full of twists and turns, and what may seem like a disaster one day can turn out to be a blessing the next, and vice versa. The truth is, we often don't know what's good or bad in the grand scheme of things. Mindfulness teaches us to approach life with the same attitude as the farmer, not clinging to labels of good or bad, but accepting each moment as it comes and allowing life to unfold without trying to control every outcome. Let's explore some mindfulness strategies that that can help navigate uncertainty with the attitude of openness and acceptance. Number one, anchor yourself in the present. When uncertainty arises, it's easy to get lost in thoughts about the future, what might happen, what could go wrong. Instead, bring your attention back to the present moment. Focus on your breath. Notice the sensations in your body or observe your surroundings. By anchoring yourself in the here and now, you can ground yourself in reality whether, um, rather than, than getting swept away by anxious thoughts. Practice acceptance. A key aspect of mindfulness is accepting things as they are, without trying to change or resist them. This doesn't mean giving up or resigning yourself to a difficult situation. It means acknowledging what is true in this moment. When you find yourself facing uncertainty, practice accepting the unknown as part of life's natural flow. Like the farmer in the story, recognize that it's impossible to predict the outcome of every situation. By embracing uncertainty, you can reduce the stress and anxiety that come from trying to control the uncontrollable. Number three, focus on what you can control. While we can't control everything, there are often aspects of a situation that we can influence. Mindfulness helps us to differentiate between what we can and cannot control. Instead of fixating on the unknown, focus on the small steps you can take right now, whether it's taking care of your health, reaching out for support, or simply taking a few deep breaths. Focusing on what you can control can help you feel more empowered and less overwhelmed. Number four, let go of the need for certainty. The desire for certainty can lead to rigid thinking and a fear for change, a fear of change, I should say. Mindfulness teaches us to let go of the need for certainty and to approach life with curiosity and openness. When we let go of the need to have everything figured out, we create space for new possibilities and solutions to emerge. And number five, cultivate patience. Navigating uncertainty often requires patience, patience with the situation with others, and with ourselves. Mindfulness encourages us to slow down, to be patient with the process, and to trust that in time, clarity will come. 
By practicing patience, we can reduce the impulse to rush to conclusions or make hasty decisions. As you practice these mindfulness strategies, you may find that uncertainty becomes less intimidating. By staying present, accepting what is, and focusing on what you can control, you can navigate the unknown with greater ease and resilience. It's also important to be kind to yourself during times of uncertainty. Recognize that it's okay to feel uneasy and that you're not alone in your experience. Everyone faces uncertainty at some point, and by practicing mindfulness, you're building the inner resources to handle it with grace and confidence. If you're interested in exploring mindfulness further, or if you'd like to work with me one-on-one to develop a mindfulness practice that works for you, you can find more resources and information about my mindfulness coaching services at jeremywest.net, where you'll also find a pay-what-you-want Patreon, where you can access guided meditations, including one specifically designed to help you navigate uncertainty. Thank you for joining me today on It's Now Again. If you found this episode helpful, please subscribe, share it with others who might benefit, and leave a review. Remember, the present moment is always here, waiting for you to return to it. Until next time, I'm Jeremy West, reminding you to embrace the unknown with mindfulness, because it's now again.